everyone, I'm Raquel from Scrap Cozy and I'm here with Gwen Lefleur, uh, one of the new designers for Paper Etsy. Hi Gwen, how are you Hello, doing? good. <laughs> yeah, so thank you very much for sure. uh, giving me some time to ask sure, some absolutely. questions. Sure, absolutely. So they get to know you a bit better. Okay. So, well, this is my first interview ever, so I'm gonna <laughs> read the questions. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> okay. okay, so yeah, let's try and see what it comes. Okay. Yeah, so basically, how did you start in the crafting world? I don't even remember because I have been crafting since I was a little girl and I would cut little tiny pieces of paper up and glue them to my desk, which thrilled my mother to no end. Uh, but I've always done something, scrapbooking, cards, drawing, um, any kind of art or craft, I've just pretty much my entire life. So, yeah. Um, when did you start with Paper Artsy? This is my first show with Paper Artsy. Uh, my first release was in September, so I am brand new, I'm the newest designer. and. Um, so this is, you know, just just within the last year that this has all happened. So. Yeah, yeah, but even if it's new, you already have six. I do. Right? I already have six. Yeah, these are brand new, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so I don't know if they didn't see them We did. Much, we did a release in September, yeah. and then we have a show release, and so that's that's what yeah. I've got so, so far. So they can be shown yeah. then. Yeah, yeah okay. absolutely. They're Very out. Good. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Then, um, what about uh, have you worked with other companies? I guess uh -huh. you have, right? I have. I do. Um, I started with Stencil Girl. Mm -hmm. They're the first company I started designing for. So I have. 40, 50 stencils that are available with them. Mm -hmm. And then I also work with Emerald Crafts. Yeah. Or Emerald, I'm sorry. Sorry, Kim. Emerald Creek. <laughs> um, Emerald, my brain is dead today. Emerald Don't Creek Craft Emerald. Supplies. Yeah. So I have embossing powder, boho blends. I have my, and I have my embellishments, boho bits, which are semi-precious gemstone embellishments. And then at the show this year, we're launching boho beads. Mm -hmm. So some little bead assortments that are designed to coordinate with the powder. So that's, who I'm working with right now. Very nice. Thank you. Very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> um, is this your main work then? And your main sort of thing? No, no, I have a full time job. Okay. So um, I do, I work in the internet marketing kind of industry. I'm a website optimization expert. So that is my full time pay the bills kind of job. And then I'm yeah. doing more and more designing, teaching, Good. that kind of thing. So, well, yeah. so if, if somebody wanted to meet you and teach in person, mm -hmm. where could you find you? So right now I don't have my 2020 schedule really baked yet, but you can find my, if you go to my website, it's just GwenLafleur.com. Yeah. There's a workshops page. Yeah. There are a couple of online workshops that are available. And then um, a little bit I'm teaching here at the show. I teach at my local store in Alexandria, Virginia. It's um, Artistic Artifacts. Mm -hmm. And I'll be putting some things up through the year. And I'm planning to do some online classes this year on my own website, which wow. I'm really excited about. So putting it out there means that I have to actually follow through. So yeah. that's it's gonna happen this year. Yeah, that's great. That's yeah. a lot of work. Yes, it is. Yeah, we'll get it though. Yeah. We'll get it. When are you heading? Where are you heading next then after Um uh, Next, I'm heading back plans? home. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna do some little art retreat vacations for me. Yeah. And then I've got some family vacations scheduled and things. But okay. so but my my teaching my teaching and crafting and stuff is all still happening in Virginia right now. So in, until I mean I'll teach in Connecticut later this year. Um, I sh I may be teaching in Florida. We haven't put a date together yet. Uh, so we're we're my 2020 schedule is still in the works. Well, well, good. yeah. It has just started. So. Yeah, yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. Good, good. And what are your hobbies apart from crafting? Um, Any other things? I read. Um, I'm a huge ice hockey fan, so oh, wow. I love to watch ice hockey. Of course, that frequently happens when I'm actually crafting or making art or something like that. I did play for a while in grad oh, school. That wow. was pretty fun. Um, I mean, I love to shop. I love to do all different kinds of different kinds of arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. And there's always new stuff that I want to try. Yeah. So yeah, you know, just you see one thing you want to try mm -hmm. and then here. <laughs> but it's kind of you know, there's not a whole lot of time for anything else between yeah. the work and then yeah. and art. But that's okay because that's you know that's the fun stuff anyway. But yeah, I read and I love to cook. So. Uh -huh. Good. Good. Um, okay. Now, just a quick uh, lead of questions. Okay. So, do you like tea or coffee? Neither. Neither? Nope. <gasps> okay. So I don't drink do tea like? or coffee. Um, water. water. I'm a water drinker. Okay. And I, I really, really love cran apple juice, but I try not to drink a lot of it, but yeah. Dog or cat? Person. Dog. Yeah. Mostly because I'm allergic to almost all cats. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Nice. That's well. <laughs> yeah. Dogs are good companions. <laughs> they are, they are. Um, are you a morning crafter or a night crafter? Um, night. Um, and I would be even if I didn't work full time, probably. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> and what's your favorite food? 
That is hard to say. Um, Turkish food, maybe. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Blue? Okay. And if you went to a desert island and you'd only have to pick just a few things, craft things with you, what would you pick? Um, paint and... Blue paint, I guess. Oh, well, probably there would definitely be some blue paint. Uh -huh. um, I could probably paint, I could probably make brushes and paper and stuff from things I found on the island. Yeah. Probably glue okay. I would want to take with me. And, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe some stamps. Okay. I could probably scrounge the rest of it. Any favorites now from the new ones that you have? Oh, it's so hard to choose. I love the Aboriginal inspired one, inspired one. And if I was on an island, it would probably be good because of the fish. Yeah. So, uh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Good answer. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you so much for your sure, time. Sure. Thank you. It was and fun. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, we'll be recording more videos, hopefully. Yeah. And yeah, make sure that to stay there. And okay. thanks for watching. Thanks. Thank you.